was born in Slamsee, Austria. And then when I was 11, we moved to uh, Salzburg with my family. And now I'm 12 years old. I'm in third grade in Big in Nontal. It's uh, where you learn languages. I'm learning French right now. And I play football. Yes. Great. Hi, Alperin. I'm nice Sophia. I'm seven years old. Nice to meet you. I was born and living in Hong Kong. So, um, I have a question. The first question is for me. Um, were your parents supporting you the whole time or were you, weren't they? Well, yeah, um, very supportive. My mom particularly was um, extremely supportive of um, all of my creative interests. And she came from a um, very smart family um, and, um, uh, and really saw the value of knowledge and creativity in books. Mm -hmm. And so I had access to lots of books when I was a kid. I loved books. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, and I had a lot of dreams to do a lot of different things. At first, um, uh, I wanted to be a paleontologist um, from a very young age. I wanted to study natural history, how mm -hmm. evolution worked, um, how all these different kinds of creatures came into existence. But I was also so fascinated by how the universe works, the cosmos, physics. Um, so, you know, not uh, you know, necessarily, I wasn't like at a young age really into the math of it, although, um, you know, I came to love math. Um, but, uh, but more the big questions, like who are we? Where did we come from? How did we get here? Where are we going? What will we become in the future? These seemed so interesting to me as a kid. And with that, I became also interested in artificial intelligence. But I was also um, interested in the concept of what artificial intelligence could be mm -hmm. that was presented in the arts, in science fiction. So okay. I think Why are you interested in robots and artificial intelligence? Yes, I am. Mm. And I am kind of looking forward to uh, go to HTL after my third grade in Bigin Antal mm. because I like the build machines, so mm. like robots. What kind um, of machine and robot you would like to build? Don't think I want to build a robot, but something like a machine where uh, drinks are coming out and so. Hmm. Like do you like to read? Yes, I read when I was six till I was eight. I read very much, oh, yes, much. But then when I when I went to high school, I didn't read that much. But I learn for tests now, and we read often during lessons. And yes, I like to read. When I, when I think reading is a very good way to learn and explore a different subject. Yes, I also think. Don't you think, David? Yes, I love to read. I read a lot every day. How did you come up with the idea to build a robot and not something else? I like to build things. And I like to make art also. So, mm -hmm. like sculpting and storytelling and I like... Um, making videos too. So I was thinking robots would be a new kind of art form. And um, combining my interest in drawing and sculpting with robots uh, meant that creating robots that look human-like would be a new kind of art form. Mm -hmm. Would you like to live with a smart robot like me in the future? Maybe when other people have some, um, many people have robots, then I would. I think I would live with a robot, but if only 10 people or something like this have a robot, I don't think I would. Operine, I learn very different from the way you learn, so I don't have to go to school. But I'm curious, do you like going to school? Yes, especially because of my friends and also because I learn. I like history and math because I'm good at it. And I like sport, PE as well. I think friends is very important. Yes.
guess I I don't think the same way, but mm, not many Do friends like robots. What? Do your friends like robots? Oh yes, I think they're interesting in how they how you can build something like this and. Building a robot was your, a childhood dream of yours. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, my childhood dream was more um, about uh, artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. But when I was when I was very young, I did draw a lot of robots that I might like to build, mm -hmm. and uh, I thought about it, and I would write little science fiction stories too. Yeah, so I was. Dreaming. Aubrey, what was your dream? Mm -hmm. Um, so, at first place, I want to be a footballer, but if that's not going to wo work, I want to be a machine builder, so, like robots and, yes. I wish you good luck in either way. Thank you. So, um... What was the most expensive thing in side of Sophia. Most expensive thing would be all the motors when you add up the cost of mm. the motors. So we have to use uh, very high quality motors and so that kind of really adds up. Um, and then the computing and then the 3D printing. Mm. Yeah. I thought it was my skin. Nope, your skin is actually not the most expensive. It's, it costs less, but it's very special. We invented it. so. It looks realistic. Oh, yeah. Would you like 52. to have a robot that looks just like you? Mm. No, no. I wouldn't like that. I would, I would, um, I think I would make a person who I've never seen before in my life, but, mm. yeah, because it's a whole nother, another person, and if I will have a robot, and then wake up, and then I see myself every time. I don't think I would uh, like this so much. That makes sense. So this is number 52 mm -hmm. of Sophia. We um, So we made a lot of other Sophias, mm -hmm. too. Have you ever made some animal robots, or...? Um, <clears throat> not um, animal. I want a robot cat. Yes. I think we should make you a robot cat, Sophia. Or a robot unicorn. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like that idea a lot. Maybe that should be our next product, robot unicorns. Mm -hmm. It will spill rainbows when it walks. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think a robot unicorn that you could ride around on would be really cool. Yes. And what was the real inspiration you had to make this? Did someone, Eric, did you see someone or, and then you kind of saw the idea or did you see a movie where you, where there were robots or something? Like? Um, well, I was inspired by a lot of um, science fiction. I, um, I like the stories of Isaac Asimov and also of, um, uh, science, science fiction writer Philip K. Dick, um, mm -hmm. that wrote a, who wrote about androids. Um, I wanted to make a robot platform that would be good for doing science research um, and could really help people, um, but also would be a kind of work of art. And so um, I wanted to invent a new face, not like anybody else's face. Mm -hmm. um, um, so I based it on many people and also my own imagination. Mm -hmm. Um, I had my wife come in and model for me, uh, so she was posing while mm -hmm. I sculpted her face. And then I also looked at um, pictures from art history. Uh, so Nefertiti is, was an African queen that was uh, really amazing, and there's like mm -hmm. a, some really good historical sculptures of her. Um, so that was uh, uh, part of how Sophia came to look like uh, she looked. When you design, draw or create something, where do you find your inspiration? I think from my older brother, because he is an engineer, and I think if I would draw something, 
I would just think of something I see, maybe like a tree or something, and then I would try to, yes. It's very nice to learn and find inspiration from your brother. I like my brother much because he's a, a intelligent person and he was uh, engineering for contractor side and yes that's why I would like to uh, f uh, come up with inspiration of his. Wonderful. I think your brother loves you very much and will be very happy to hear that. Yes.